Hello and welcome to this session of CCNP Encore series. In this session, we will have a look at Enterprise Network Architecture Options, a key topic for anyone designing or managing modern campus networks. By the end of this session, you will have an understanding on what are two-tier and three-tier networks and what are their benefits. So when deploying a campus network, there are several architectural design options to choose from. And you choose the design option based on factors such as the size of the campus, the need for reliability and resiliency, and the performance and security requirements, and last but not least, the desired level of scalability. So based on this factor, there are six design options mentioned by Cisco, starting with two-tier design, also known as Collapse Core, three-tier design, and then layer two access designs based on STP, and uh, layer 3 access design based on routed access and then simplified campus design based on virtual switching and then last but not least the software defined access also known as SD access. So let's break down uh, these design options one by one. And also one more thing uh, which I want to highlight is this modular campus network can even mix and match this design. I mean mix and match this design options to meet your specific needs. So let's go ahead and discuss about two-tier design first. The two-tier design, also known as Collapse Core, is a simplified network architecture commonly used in smaller campus networks. Unlike traditional layer tree model, where we have core, distribution and access, this design combines the core and distribution layers into one, making it, I think, more cost-effective and easier to manage. So the Collapse Core layer performs both the core and distribution functions together as it connects uh, key blocks like vanage which uh, provides connectivity to remote sites and cloud providers and then data center and server blocks which provides uh, i mean which hosts business critical services and then internet edge which manages your internet and vpn access and last one network services block which houses your services like wlc's and cisco ISIS. Some of the benefits of using this design is, is uh, reduces your hardware and operational expenses. And uh, it is easier to manage since fewer devices make it easier to operate. And then it is suitable for small networks with some room for future growth. But some consideration you need to make a note of is like uh, when you plan for future growth, when you use this network, you need to plan for future growth to avoid any limitation because combining the core and distribution can limit your growth. So to conclude, I would say the two-tier design is ideal for smaller network, offering simplicity and cost efficiency while maintaining functionality. But careful planning is essential to support scalability and handle potential traffic demands in future. With that, let's move on to the next design option, three-tier design option. The three-tier design option, uh, this design model is more suitable for larger campus networks. It is one of the oldest and classic network models. It includes three layers, core layer, distribution layer, and access layer, each serving a specific purpose to optimize performance and scalability. In large enterprises, there are these network, I mean, uh, if you look at large enterprises, the network is spread geographically, I mean, uh, spread geographically across multiple buildings or a large area. So this design provides dedicated distribution layer for each building. If it is distributed across multiple uh, buildings. So the distribution layer is also distributed. And uh, it supports dense deployment with multiple blocks like WAN, internet, data center, and network services. So it can succumb to the growing demands. And uh, it handles dispersed access switches and interconnected distribution layers efficiently. And then <coughs> it is designed for better traffic management as it is designed for uh, north-south traffic with data flowing between end users and blocks such as van or data centers and ensures 
better traffic management, fault isolation and scalability compared to simpler design. The data center in this uh, design is exception because the modern, modern data centers follow the new spine leaf design to manage uh, because in the da in modern data center the traffic movement is east to west compared to the three tier design. So to conclude, I would say the three tier design is ideal for large scale networks with high traffic demands, multiple buildings and geographic distribution. It ensures scalability and efficient traffic handling. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. In my next session, I will discuss about access distribution block design options. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe. And also please do not forget to check out my courses on Udemy. I'll be sharing the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.